All right, hi everybody, it's Coach Fullwider, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the summer workouts. I know there were some questions about some of the exercises, so um, I'm here with my assistants, Maisie and Violet, and we're gonna show you how to do some of the exercises. Sound good? All right, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is talk about your Monday ab workout. Um, so I believe it starts with crunches. That's pretty um, self-explanatory. I think everybody knows how to do crunches. Um, but the next one is the leg ups. So I'm going to have the girls lie down, and I'm going to show you how to do it. If I look this way a little bit, there we go. Okay, so you want your legs straight up in the air. Get your legs straight up in the air, good. And then you're going to bring them down to the floor as close as possible. That's right, put your hands under, there we go, put your hands under your hips. And now bring them back up. Good, all the way down, don't let them touch. And all the way back up. Good, all the way down, slow down and slow up, very good. You could also do this with a partner, right? So Maisie, here, turn this way, by move. Maisie, turn, nope, put your leg, put your head between my legs. Very good, and hold on to my legs with your arms, good. Now your partner can throw your legs down, and you wanna, and bring them up, good. So you want them still to not touch the floor. Bring them up, bring them up, good. You can also throw them side to side, but that's a little bit harder. We'll throw them to that side, good, and bring them up, and throw them down, and bring them up, good. Throw them down, and bring them up. So you can do this, nice job. You can do this with your brother or sister, you can do it with a friend, you can ask your parents to hold your legs and throw them down, okay? Any way that you can do that with a partner would be awesome. Yes, would you do that for your sister? I would do that for my daughter, 110%, okay? Um, the next thing is toe touches, so we're gonna get back down on the ground. Legs straight up in the air. Good, good, and Violet, you can help us on this one, and reach your, reach your hands up. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Up, now reach and try to touch your toes. Bring your head and your shoulders off the ground. Up, good, and back down. So do it quickly, up, up, up. Good, you don't have to do your arms all the way back. Okay, just keep reach, keep your hands up and reach and reach up, up. Good, don't move your arms though. Maybe you try it. Just keep your arms right here. Arms up and reach, reach down, up, up, up. Very good, okay? So that is your toe touches. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is burpees. Is this our favorite? This is our favorite? Yay, this is our favorite. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you be over here, Violet. We're gonna start like we're gonna do a good block jump. Okay, so be over here, there we go. We're gonna do a good block jump. Okay, so your hands are gonna be right about face level. Um, feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna go down, sit your hips back, and jump as high as you can and push over the net. After you jump, you're gonna come down and go right into your plank. Down, you go down, good. We're gonna do a push up. Bring our feet back in and go right up back into our jump. Okay, so let's do one full speed. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's jump and plank and push up and knees and jump. Very good. Nice job. Nice job. Woo, good job. Um, after this, the next one is mountain climbers. Can you guys do mountain climbers? Good. So you're going to be in your plank position, and that's exactly right. You're just going to bring your knees up as fast as you can. Good job. It's a good cardio workout. Next one is penguins. So for the penguins, we're gonna lie down. Good, very important to keep hydrated, right? Good, so lie down, feet like this, good. And now reach for your heels and you're gonna waddle like a penguin. Good, come over here and be sideways so they can see what you're doing. Good, feet up, or feet, yep. Now reach like you're a penguin. Good, it's important to keep your shoulders and your head off the ground. Okay, so we're gonna reach and kind of waddle like a penguin. Excellent, and the next one is plank. Okay, so it's really important in planks that we, I think it's a plank for one minute. If you start off with a minute and that gets easy, you can increase the time over time. So hopefully if you're doing this workout like you're supposed to, by the end of summer, you should be doing maybe even like two minute planks. That would be awesome. Okay, so it's really important to hold your tummy and your back and your butt muscles all in. Okay, so we're gonna be on our elbows. I'm gonna pull my shirt up so you can see my back. Okay, so it's really important that we keep that straight line. Okay, 
okay? We don't want our butt up too high. That's easier. We don't want our hips down like we're an old horse or something. <laughs> All right, good. So we're just gonna hold nice and strong here. And again, you have to hold in with your tummy and your back. See if I lift butts a little high. There we go, right like that. Nice, strong in the shoulders too. Push away the floor. Very good. I think we're gonna have to do some planks. Nice job. Okay, um, so then let's go into leg day, which is Wednesday. We're gonna talk about squats, okay? So Maisie, be on this side of me. We're all gonna face forward. So, not that close, <laughs> goofball. <laughs> so the most important thing with squats is we're gonna start with our feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and our feet are gonna point straight forward. We don't want our feet out. We don't want them in. We just want them straight forward. And when you squat down, you wanna make sure that your knees go right over your feet. So the way that we do that is you wanna think about you're trying to find a chair to sit down on, okay? So as we squat down, you're gonna keep your chest lifted and just reach back with your hips. So see, my knees are right over my feet. Violets go in a little bit. There we go, but your toes are also pointed out, aren't they? There you go. And then you're just gonna stand straight back up, okay? So we're gonna squat like this. Always keep your chest lifted. Let me see yours. Oh, your knees buckled. Keep your, bring your feet a little closer together. There you go. There we go, very nice. So that's our squat. Lunges, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna do, um, I think it's 15 each leg or whatever the number is. The most important thing on lunges is again that our foot is pointed straight ahead and that our front knee is at a 90 degree angle, okay? We don't want it too far forward. Here, I'll go sideways so you can see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we don't want our knee to go too far forward because that puts a lot of stress on our knee back here. And if it's too far back, that puts a lot of stress on our back knee, okay? So keep your hips right in the center. Keep your chest lifted, hands on your hips, okay? And you're just gonna go down and up, straight down and straight up. See, Maisie, you're moving forward. So you wanna start in this position already, and then you just wanna be up and down, okay? And then you're gonna change sides. And do how, make sure that that back leg is straight. And then we just go up and down. Okay, really simple movement. Um, after that, we have side lunges. So it's gonna be a little bit wider than our squats. Again, feet pointed straight ahead. Good. And then you're just gonna go down and lunge from side to side. So you're gonna go down and up, down and up. Probably a little bit deeper than I am, but I'm an old lady, so that's okay. <laughs> Aw, oh, thanks. You're cute too. All right, um, and then the last one that I wanted to explain to you is the jump squats. So you're gonna do the same thing as your squat, okay? So we make sure our feet are about shoulder width apart and pointing forward. We're gonna squat all the way down, and then instead of standing up, we're gonna jump. Good. You don't have to do your hands, okay? So the point is that we're gonna do it a little bit quicker. So we're gonna squat and jump, squat and jump. Get right back into it. Keep your chest lifted. We'll work on it, we'll work on it, that's good. All right, so I think that's the last thing I need to explain to you for leg days. The last one that we wanna talk about is our Friday workout. So you're gonna do each of these 10 exercises, 30 seconds, and then you're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Then you go to the next exercise for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. And as you're doing the exercise for 30 seconds, you wanna do it as quickly as possible, okay? It'll build strength, it'll build quickness in your muscles. It's also a really good cardio workout, okay? Um, so the first thing we wanna talk about is frogger jumps. Do you remember frogger jumps? Let's see them. So it's kind of like, here be sideways so the girls can see. There you go, so it's kind of like the middle of your burpee. Good, you're gonna start in your good plank and you're just gonna bring your knees in and out as quickly as possible, good. I know, nice job girls, nice job. Um, the next thing is the high knee skips. Can we show them the high knee skips? Here, let me hold that and then you show me your high knee skips. Good, get those knees up. So the idea is you wanna drive up. Usually we do them in place, but that's kinda hard. So you wanna drive up as fast or as hard as you can off of that one leg, okay? So you really wanna use your arms and get up as high as you can for your high knee skips. Yes. I love it, I love it. Um, the next one is cross jacks. 
So for cross jacks, they're like jumping jacks, but you're gonna keep your arms straight out. Now, no noodle arms, okay? You wanna keep them straight out and strong, and that's exactly right. As you jack your feet, just like a jumping jack, you're gonna keep your arms and move them quickly, okay? So you keep them straight out, arms tight, and we go as quickly as possible. Good, takes a little coordination, very nice. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is the lateral high jump. Do you guys want to get what we're jumping over today? Mm. So the idea here is we're going to jump as high as we can, side to side as quickly as we can. Now, you can use whatever you have at home. You can use whatever you have at home to jump over. You can use a cone. Oh, <laughs> stuffed animals are forgiving if you don't make it. You can use a cone, Maisie's going to use a unicorn, um, you could even use a stack of books, anything to jump over, and I mean you don't have to jump over anything I guess, but it just helps really get those knees as high as you can. There, are you going to do the unicorn or no? The unicorn might be a little dangerous if you miss. <laughs> you might, yeah, she yeah. might break, here let's, should we do the tiger? Good job, Bella. Almost. Here, you try this one. Whoa! Okay. So, okay, give me a second, girls. Chill. Okay. So, the idea from this is that you want to jump as quickly as possible. So, you want your feet to be on the ground a very short amount of time. You want to go fast, 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 and then pull your knees up. So, we'll see how well I can do. But you want to just go. Quick jump, quick off the floor, quick off the floor, quick off the floor. Oh yeah, it doesn't hurt if you have a tiger. Okay, so that's your lateral high jumps, lateral high knees. Um, the next thing is push up and rotate. You wanna do it or you want me to do it? Easy B to the side so everybody can see. Good, so we do a push up and rotate your hand up in the air. Whoa, and up. Good, let mama show. Okay. So we're gonna make sure we do a nice good push up, control down, control up, and then reach up into the sky. And then down and up and reach up into the sky. Okay, so you're gonna do that for as many times as you can in 30 seconds. Um, the next thing after that is reverse. Oh, it's the up down plank. We forgot to do this last time. So the up down plank, you're gonna start in a push up position. Again, holding your plank nice and tight. You're gonna go down on your elbows and back up on your hands. Down on your elbows and back up on your hands. As many times as you can in 30 seconds. Good. Really hold in your core here. This is a really great workout for your tummy and your back and your butt. Um, next we have the reverse lunge and jump. So think about your good lunge form from the first, or from leg day. But this time you're gonna go back, okay? It's a different exercise when you go front and push than when you go back and you're gonna jump. Okay, so back and jump. Good, or you can do jumping lunges like that. Good. Um, the next one is V crunches. Ready for V crunches? Okay, put Mr. Tiger down. <laughs> it's always good to work out with the buddy. Good, so on your back, legs open, and you're just gonna reach through your V. So up. Crunch it, no, up, <laughs> legs up, there we go, and just reach through, reach through quickly, and down, down, yes, there we go, let me see yours, violets is what not to do right now, which is just move your arms up and down, get your shoulders and head off the floor, yes, and crunch, 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 so move real quick, Mace, so the idea is, look out, Violet, you're gonna have your legs open in a V and you're just gonna reach through, reach through, reach through, reach through, reach through. Okay, notice my head never rests, my shoulders never touch the ground, I just keep reaching through. So that's your V sit-ups. And finally, your plank jack is you're gonna be in your push-up position and you're just gonna jack your legs out like a jumping jack, but just on the floor. Good, now what Violet's not doing correctly there is her butt's up in the air. So you wanna make sure that you hold your good plank. Good, and jack your legs. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nice job, Violet. 
All right, so if you have any questions, please get a hold of us um, either via, well, you guys, you guys know where to go. Um, the website, the Remind, texting, Facebook, Instagram. Um, but the most important thing is that you're out there, you're moving. This is the very basics of what you should be doing this summer. Um, so let's make sure that we're working really hard so that when we get in the gym in the middle of July, we're ready to go and play some volleyball. All right? Anything you want to say? Anything you want to say? Can we get a bears on three? Put your hands in. Ready? One, two, three, bears! Nice job. Thanks, guys.